how can you how can you take your current health situation and say you're going to change it without having any vision or any goals of where you want to go and how you want to get there? It's so simple, right? I mean, if I said, "Hey, you know what? Let's you know let's go to California." I mean, you know, today we probably wouldn't get out a map because we have navigation. But we would at least go punch the thing into our navigation and look at the map and say, oh, that's how you get there. Okay, good. Right? So if you want to be healthy, we need to have a vision. What's your vision for yourself? What is your vision for yourself? Oh, I don't have a vision for myself. That's why we're here tonight. Because without a vision for yourself, we're not going to get anywhere. So you have to establish a vision and you have to set goals. We're going to talk about more on how to do that. So the rules for goal setting, and this stuff is in your packet, right? Hopefully if you are following along with me, you can see it. It says, you have to have a, your primary goal is always to be healthy. This is a big concept. You have to wrap your mind around this. You have to wrap your mind around this. The goal, the primary goal is not to lose weight. The primary goal is not to be able to do 50 push-ups. The primary goal is not to lower your blood pressure. The primary goal is not to get rid of your migraine headaches. You know why? Because what do you do after your headaches are gone? What do you do after your blood pressure is down? What do you do after you lost the weight? Hello? Look at America. They lose it, they gain it, and they gain 10 more. Right? Because the goal was to lose weight, and they did that. Once they did that, the subconscious mind said, okay, great, I accomplished that, <laughs> done with that. You have to set a goal that my goal, the reason I do what I do is to be healthy. That's why I do it. Do you think if you ate healthier, got adjusted, and exercised regularly, you'd lose weight if you needed to lose weight? Right? Every so often I'll have someone that says, I tried diet and exercise, didn't work for me, Dr. Mills. <laughs> really. So if I had a dog, it was too heavy. And I reduced the food that I gave it and exercised it more, it wouldn't lose weight. It wouldn't lose weight? Really? Oh, but I'm different. You think you are, that's the problem. A million times out of a million, that dog will lose weight. Oh, but I heard of a dog with a thyroid issue. Great. Why don't you try to find one reason why you can't make your life better? <laughs> why don't you try to find the one in seven million and think you're it? How many times did you hit the lottery in your life? That's what I thought. You're not that lucky. <laughs> It works every time. But look, you say, why do you got to get so philosophical? The universe is organized, right? Dr. Berkson and I had this conversation the other day. We can put a man on a ship and land him on the moon and bring him back and know exactly where and when he is going to land. The moon's spinning, we're spinning, gravity's going on, right? We know the laws of physics. <laughs> We know the laws of how things work, and it's, it's not random. If it was random, guess what? We'd miss the moon. The space shuttle would land somewhere else. But that doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. How can we build a skyscraper that's 50 stories high, and it doesn't fall over? Because there's laws that govern life on Earth, right? And they don't just fluctuate and change. Yeah, we were in the middle of building a building and all of a sudden gravity just changed. Right? Well, I was in the middle of living my life and all of a sudden my body just changed. It just quit knowing how to regulate itself. Really? Or do you think you started doing things 20 years ago that interfered with the function of your body so bad that eventually it couldn't adapt to it anymore? Well, why do I give you examples like that? Because it helps you think, doesn't it? 
say, wow, that's true. This is very exact. Those same laws that we use to get a man to the moon and back are the same laws that govern the physiology of your body. They're exact. They are precise. 